going on everybody it's your favorite auntie mo and we are back for another episode review of love after lockup this is season two episode 31 dirty laundry before we get into the review if you have not done so just yet go ahead and subscribe to my channel let me know what you think of this video with a thumbs up or thumbs down and then hit the notification bell so you will know whenever i upload new content if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to let me know that you stopped by if you're a returning subscriber what's going on did you miss your auntie? Because auntie sure enough missed you. Y'all, this episode kind of broke my heart. We finally got a little bit more update about Goldie. I get into, get into that in a minute. But this episode was funny to me, y'all. It had me rolling. Hopefully, y'all are ready for the review. I got my mango strawberry Moscato ready. And you can already see the glistening. Y'all already know Moscato making auntie hot -o. Hopefully, y'all are ready for this review because I'm ready to give it to you. So, let's get right on up into it. All right, y'all. Let's get started with Cheryl and Josh. Now, he's taking his nieces to the zoo. Cheryl is with him, of course. This is going to be her first time seeing Mama Tina since she, the, they got into it at the restaurant. Now, y'all already know Mama Tina don't like Cheryl. She feel like he needs to be with somebody else that's going to be a better um, build for him that's going to help him develop a better the future and all of that like Cheryl ain't gonna do it mama he was robbing banks baby be glad somebody want to be with his ass with that criminal background like that child anybody else would be like i oh, know hell no you gonna rob me in my sleep or something like that but Cheryl wants to be with him so mama give it a chance Cheryl gets to asking him when do you want to get kids and when do you want to get married he like now hold on slow down pump your brakes you know i just got out i want us to like kind of build something establish something first as opposed to just jumping right in and trying to build a life together. Now, Cheryl said, y'all up there doing it without condoms anyway. Y'all using the pull-out method. So, a baby is to come soon. You know she already got three of them mofos. So, Josh, I'm going to need you to strap that thing up. Now, she says that she's going to go on Wednesday to get her wet dress. He tells her, er, hold on, slow down, pump your brakes. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Now, Josh is starting to see. Y'all let me know if I'm wrong. Josh is starting to see. A little bit of the crazy coming out of Cheryl. Correct me if I'm wrong. He was like, uh, hold on, like, I'm gonna need you to wait, calm down, pump your brakes. Look here, we know each other when I was locked up, and that's it. I've just been out of jail two, three days. We still trying to get to know each other. He's starting to already see shit a little bit bad shit with it. So he like, hold on, let's calm down, let's pump the brakes, let's just see how we can do this thing first. Now she like, you wrong for that because you butted me up when I was when you was in prison. Had me thinking that when you got out, we finna build this whole life together and all this. And this how you gonna do me? He was like, look here, I just said we need to calm down and chill. Now Josh, look. You shouldn't have promised that girl out of that if you weren't going to be able to come through with it. But then again, Cheryl, his mama don't like you, girl. I don't know how that's going to work. And then not only that, Cheryl, being a mama, I would think you would want to get to know him some more before you bring him around your kids anyway. That's just me, though. That's just how your auntie think. I'm old school with it. But I could tell he could see the crazy starting to creep out of her. Josh, you better watch that. You better watch that. Next up, y'all, we got Vincent and Amber. Now, Amber is at the restaurant with her homegirl. They waiting on Vincent to get there. They sitting up there waiting 20, 30 minutes. He finally shows up. They're like, dang, what took him so long? Y'all know Vincent is a mercenary. That's what somebody said in my comments not too long ago. Goddamn had me rolling. Y'all know he had to go hide the body. That's what took him so doggone long. But as soon as he get there, homegirl gets going right in. Okay, so what are your intentions with my homegirl? I need to know because I don't trust nothing about you. That's when Amber's like, okay, let me get up and go to this bathroom because uh, it's gonna start getting real. Soon as she get up, go to the bathroom. The homegirl is like, okay, so let me know what what is it with you? Why do you want to get married to her so quick? Like, what's going on with you? He says he loves her. He wants to be with her. Whoop de whoop, yada yada yada. So she's like, do you lie a lot? He was like, um, no, 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 no. You're lying right there. She said, okay, so you not down here and George doing a side job? He kind of laughed at it. He was like, oh, okay, well, I didn't mean to say it like that. Like, she a side job. It's just, you know what I'm saying? I'm still trying to get to know her, trying to get to work this thing out. Whoop the whoop. Amber ended up coming back from the bathroom, and uh, she asked the homegirl, like, are y'all cool here? Everything straight homegirl? Like, it's a bunch of bullshit if you ask me, but uh, that's just my opinion. Homegirl say, come on, y'all, let's go smoke a cigarette. So she ends up going outside with her homegirl smoking a cigarette. Vincent was just sitting down there chilling at first. Then Vincent was like, oh, hell no, they probably out there talking about me. He ends up coming outside afterwards, and he was like, do you believe me that I said I want to be with you and that I love you and I want to build this relationship? Amber's whole thing is I still need to get to know you because you were one way when I was locked up. Now that you out, like, you a totally different person. Now, the way I first... 
I ain't gonna lie, I was blaming it all on Amber. Like, girl, cause you, you, we all know you like taco on your buffet anyway. You ain't into meat like that, girl. Amber, you still ain't fooling nobody. I don't care. You ain't fooling nobody, girl. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Let your freak flag fly, girl, but stop pulling that boy alone like that. But she said, now that uh, you see more and more about how Vincent lying and how he adopted a puppy and all of that, you see he got his hand in this too. His hands ain't all the way clean. He's scamming on the fucking ass rich ass nigga too. That's just what I think. But um, we gonna see what's gonna happen. I'm still waiting on puppy to get out of jail, y'all. I want puppy to get out. I want puppy to come and blow the roof off the whole scheme. And then when puppy do get out, is she still gonna be his child? <laughs> Or can she get emancipated uh, as independent? She don't belong to nobody? Like, how does that go? I don't know. Somebody help me to understand that. <sighs> Adrian Gaudi. Gaudi. Y'all, we knew it was going to happen. Sooner or later, we knew Andrew was going to come to her senses and she just going to see that Gaudi just ain't the one. Y'all, first and foremost, her outfit was cute. And she got a little body on her. You better go on, girl. I ain't mad at you, girl, with your little sunglass line. Goldie called her. She was like, look here, I just don't think I can do this no more, Lamunge, right? Because, you know, after talking with the detective, he's telling me one thing. You telling me something different. Like, I don't know. He's like, well, it ain't like it's over, over. You know what I'm saying? A few more months here and there. She's like, so wait a minute. That's the problem, Goldie. You confusing her. She don't know if it's a few months, few years, few days. She don't know if you what. She don't know what to do, but she do know she believes the detective. I believe the detective, too. You got a 15-year sentence. You only been in there, what, three and a half, four years? Boy, yeah, you got at least about five more to go for you. You can consider for parole or good behavior. Now, come on now, boy. But then again, Andrea, you ought to know that. I'm just saying, no. So, Lamontre don't want to let it go. Go to you like, No. Is it somebody else? If it's somebody else, now say somebody. She's like, no, Lamondre, I'm tired of trying to keep you happy, and I'm not happy, and I feel her on that. You steady putting all in all into him, and he ain't got nothing else to give you back, girl. Give it up. Give up the ghost, turn and lose, Goldie. I have faith in y'all. I have faith. But he was like, look here, you know what I'm saying? When I get out, I'm going to have to find her because I'm going to have to get my baby back because uh, I got to find my way back to you, to love, to us. You know what I'm saying? Andrea, I don't think you out to clear neither, girl. When he get out, he going to come look for your ass. So um, make sure you ready when he come home, girl. But y'all, Goldie and Andrea, they just... Goldie. Goldie. Next up, y'all, we got Lacey and John. Lacey's at the prison meeting John, right? Now, she goes in there. First of all, now, I done visited somebody in, in the prison before. I didn't think you could wear all that little, but you know what? This is the year 3000 prisons. They can do their own laptops, computers, cell phones, two ways, all of that. Anyways, she goes and she meets with John. Now, she asked John, you know, does he want to do the paternity test? He's like, okay, you know, yes, of course, because he said he loves little Marlo. That's her second child that she thinks may be John's baby. Now, she does tell Sean, I mean, John, that she's been talking to another guy. Now, you can see the crazy starting to creep up out of him, too, but he had to think about it. Okay, I'm on camera, and I'm in the prison, and I'm on prison in the camera. So I can't do nothing yet. He asked if he's still around. Lacey's like, yes, he is. That's because when he get out, he going to go looking for him. He going to go looking for his ass with razor blades and lemon juice. Because he's going to be after that ass. Let me tell you, he is. He like, you've been holding me down for a whole year. And you just going to throw that away right when I finna get out in, what, a week? You going to throw it away just like that? Tell me you've been talking to somebody else. She tells him that she's developed feelings for whoever this is. That she hasn't slept around with him yet. Okay, but he's like, look here, all I know is when I get out, he better be gone. Oh, it's going to be a problem. She's like, oh, yeah, I love you. Like, I'm sorry. Hangs up the phone and then leaves. Now, I don't know if that was bad. Ed did and what? Because he was just sitting there looking crazy. It looked like she just got up and just left him right in the middle of the conversation. Like, okay, I love you, bye. 
Let's, and then just, I don't know if you know how we TV be doing that damn editing. Later on, she goes to meet with her homegirl. They sitting, they having drinks. Her homegirl already knows about all her escapades and all of that. Homegirl telling her, like, look here, you need to be with somebody that makes you happy. So, like, she's like, oh, because see, you said I need to be with Shane. She like, look here, see, that ain't what I said. See, that's the problem right now. You don't listen. I did not say that. I said you need to be with somebody that makes you happy. Now, you already know John Bash shit crazy, so you don't need to be with him. This other dude, Shane, been locked up since he was 17. You don't know a dog don't think about him. Why you want to be with him? And then he was locked up from malicious wounded. I know what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? Any Anybody would have probably done that if they heard somebody was doing the things that that person had done and he had ended up beating up. But at the same time, he's still crazy. Don't do that. So she caught in between both. She don't know what she going to do. But homegirl, like, look here. All I know is when John get out, it's going to go down. So you're going to have to make up your mind. You're going to have to make up your mind right now. now. Y'all, then Lacey starts crying these old fake-ass tears. She had to, like like squeeze them out and the cameraman wrong as hell he gonna zoom right up on in on her eye to see if you actually see the lubrication coming from her eye you wrong for that cameraman you real wrong for that the way you zoomed up on that doggone girl's eye for that but y'all we gonna see what's gonna happen with that because when john get out shane's still gonna be around somebody gonna get hurt like Girl, she playing with fire. She is playing with fire. Next up, y'all, we got Glorietta and Alex. So they driving back from the prison, right? Chai, he in the car singing his white boy Joe to see the her Gloria. Your face is beautiful. Y'all, she's soaking that shit up. She's like, that is so beautiful. Oh my God. She tells him about the scrapbook that she done made for their wedding. And then she tells him that, you know, I want you to start helping me pick up the flowers, the venue, and all of that. He like, hold on, you know what I'm saying, little mama? I ain't ready to get married just yet. You know what I'm saying? I want to have some fun. She's like, okay, so what's your idea of fun? He like, you know what I'm saying? Well, let's just start with some drinks first or something like that. And then we'll see what happens from there. Now, he's trying to see where her mind is at. He was like, so what would you do if we were out somewhere and a girl is flirting with me? You see, I ain't really paying her no mind, but you see she flirted with me. What would you do? She like, why would you ask me a question like that? Now, again, I'm old school with it. He pretty much putting it out there that he's a doggone player. She just not catching it. He throwing it out there, but she ain't catching it. You know what I'm saying? She was like, oh, you know, I, I messed somebody up. I'm a judo Mexican. You don't know if I got a gun. You don't know if I got a knife. You don't know anything about me. You know what I'm saying? And so he's just trying to see what her mind is at. We can already see. Look here. When he asked her that, I was like, nope. x nay on the man, right? Uh-uh. Nope. Ain't even for the dog gonna happen. So y'all, they get to the hotel. It's a nice hotel, too. Like an old school Victorian hotel. Now, she says she want to be wined and dined before they get in there and bump and grind. She had a plan where they were finna go to a restaurant, they are gonna have some dinner, you know, nice drinks and do all of that. He like, well, what if I wanna go to dinner? I wanna stay here at the house, drink some brown liquor and just chill the hell out. She was like, well, you know, this is what I really had planned for like the first time we were together. Like, this is what I wanted to do. He like, no. I wanna stay back here, I wanna chill, I don't wanna do none of that shit. He goes, gets in the in the bubble bath, all these bubbles every dog gonna wear, pulls her, this girl jumps in the dog on bubble bath and all her clothes. I'm trying to be sexy with it. I ain't even mad at you, Glorietta. You do what you do, bro. So he gets down there, he eggplants her down. Afterwards, she in the bed, slung over. He ends up getting the ice thing, going, sneaking downstairs, asking the front desk if they got a phone and he can borrow. Baby, he called some chick named Juliana. He said that's been his ride or die since high school. They've been together off and on. Leaves a girl a message. Just want to let you know I'm out. I just touched down. I want to meet you. I want to see you. Where you at, baby? I've been missing you. All the while, Gloria up in the bed, knocked the hell out, digmatized. And you got a whole nother one. Child, in the next couple of episodes, we're going to see she get her mama, and they're going to ride out and look for that hoe. It looked like they end up coming up on him when he out at dinner with her or something like that. Child, baby. He said Glorietta don't know. Of course Glorietta don't know about her, because Glorietta wouldn't stand for that. I can already, I don't know her. She seems a little dingback-ish, but I, I don't think she, she wouldn't go for that. But, child, I'm ready to see what's going to happen with that, child. Baby, this last one about took me out. Angela and Tony. So Angela got Tommy. They riding finna go saddle up and ride and look for Tony ass girl. So Angela and Tommy end up going to his job. Now he's a cleaner person at a hotel. She finna go look for his supervisor, a chick named Amy. She says she has suspicion they had some little thing going on. So she wonders if Amy knows where Tony is. 
So Tommy and Angela end up walking in the laundry room where Amy is. She's sitting there folding clothes, right? Angela's like, uh, Amy. Amy was like, yes. Baby, she probably about a five foot, itty bitty, 90 pound little white woman with so much soul in her voice had me rolling. Angela was like, uh, you know who the hell Tony is? She's like, yes, I know who Tony is. Like, what you want what? Well, 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 where the hell is? She's like, I don't know where he is. I ain't seen him. I, I, I don't know nothing about him. And it's like, I know y'all had a little thing going on, something like that. <laughs> and was like, thing? Is that what it is? It was a thing? We had a thing going on? Let me tell you a thing. I don't know a thing about where the hell he is. So you have to move on the hell around with this. Baby, Angela went and got up in her face like the daddy from Taken. Her voice got, got about 10 octaves deep. She said, look, yeah. I know you know what the hell Tony is. Baby, she scared the shit out of me. I know you know what the hell Tony is, and you better let me know right now. Go now. Started grabbing a woman's arm. The woman was like, look here, you can walk out of here, you can go to jail, you can go to the hospital, but either way I know you finna get the hell on up out of my face, you finna get on hell up out of here now. Angela kept grabbing the woman on her arm. Baby, Tommy had to come step in. He was like, okay, Angela, that's enough. Like, you tripping. <laughs> you doing the most right now. You doing the most. Amy like, girl, if you don't get your drunk ass on up out my face, y'all, it was hilarious. Angela was like, hell, for you don't know me. I don't drink. Amy said, you gonna be drinking through a straw. You don't get your ass. <laughs> Little mama looked like she didn't play. She probably has a bottle of bleach, a detergent or something. She finna go upside Angela head. Y'all had little mama messed up. That was so doggone funny. Tommy had to drag Angela ass up out of there. Angela in there tripping, y'all. It was so doggone funny. Later on, they end up going to some kind of diner because they had to debrief. Tommy like, look here, I need you to calm down. Bitch, get you some chicken and waffles or something, some coffee, because you need to calm the hell down. They at the diner. When the waitress come, Angela pulls a picture up of Tony on her phone because Angela says she knows that's where Tony likes to go to is that restaurant. Waitress end up knowing who Tony is. She was like, yeah, I know him. Yeah, he flirts with all the women up in here. He done flirted with me before. And like, did you give him your phone number? She's like, oh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am, I did not give him my doggone number. Tommy like, look, baby, how far are we going to take this? Like, what is we doing? What the, what the hell? The waitress was black chick. She was like, child, he flirt with everybody that come in here. Don't nobody want Tony ass? Don't nobody but her want Tony. Y'all. Afterwards, they leave in the doggone restaurant. Angela gets a text from the U.S. Marshal saying, FYI, we arrested him. All this time, you out there looking for him, charging up people. This fool then ended up back in doggone jail. Y'all, the episode ended from there. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. I want to know what your excuse is. Tony and Angela, if you keep messing with him after that, girl's on you. It's on you. He done showed you all the colors that he got. It's on you. If it was anything that I missed, y'all, please drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your Auntie Mo will see you in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.